Alrighty, it's about that time for another CBS 58 Hometowns visit as our Nicole Coughlin heads to the village of Greendale this morning. And of course, she'll have updates throughout the day starting at noon. But ahead of that visit, we have Kristen Jastrach, the Greendale Public Relations Director. She joins us this morning uh, with a look at what makes the village so special. First of all, Kristen, good morning to you. How are you? I'm great. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm wanting to know there, what makes Greendale stand out here in Milwaukee County? Well, Greendale is just this hidden oasis full of small town charm with that hometown vibe that you can just feel the sense of pride and sense of community from our residents just by walking through our historic downtown village. Um, it's like you're stepping into a Norman Rockwell painting or a Hallmark movie. Our downtown area has a wide variety of restaurants, tons of unique shops surrounded by parks, playgrounds. We have a children's garden and a lot of unique kind of pathways and bike paths that my kids love to discover all the time. Um, it's also a great place to raise a family. We have a very highly rated school district here in Greendale and it brings back tons of alumni like myself to back to their hometown to raise their kids and their family in the community that they know and love. Um, we're also a historic landmark. So we have a very active historical society that works tirelessly to preserve and restore a lot of our historic landmarks and homes, some of which we'll see with Nicole when she comes down later on today. And she'll see when she's here, it's just a fun, vibrant place to be. Um, we have events going on all year round, pretty much on a weekly basis, now that summer is in full swing. Our Greendale Lions Club is setting up our 4th of July festivities right now, which start on Thursday and run through Monday, July 4th. Um, and all of our events that take place are run by nonprofit organizations. They are run by volunteers who just have that passion and drive and put their heart and soul into what they do because they love Greendale. And you can feel that it's contagious. It is just that hometown pride that everybody wants to be a part of and wants to come visit. All right, Kristen, thank you so much. I know we look forward to, to hearing more there with you and Nicole uh, later on, but thank you so much as always. Thank you. Now at noon, our team is at Greendale Middle School where they're learning about their summer adventure camp there. How's it going? Hey guys, it is a beautiful day to be outside. Wonderful welcome we've gotten this morning in Greendale. So it's been a really nice time so far in the village. And as you said, we stopped by um, to talk to some of the folks from Greendale School District. Jonathan Mitchell joining us right now. Thanks for letting us come. Thank you for being here. I, obviously school's not in session right now, but you guys right. have plenty of activity here all summer long. Lots of activity. So we have both our summer school. So we're between our Canterbury Elementary and our middle school right now. Uh -huh. So we use both of those for summer school. And then we also have our summer adventure club. So we've got over 200 students that are doing activities from the very last day of school up until the start in the fall. They're I love here it. with programming every day. Yeah. We saw them running through the woods before, and that's yeah. kind of what it is, right? Every day is something different. Keep them active, and that's what the goal is. Right. So we go on walking field trips to parks that are right in the area they can get to. We go and do open swimming at our high school location. And so we have activities to break up the day and really allow that socialization. Yeah, for, and for all ages as well. Correct. Yes. yes. Okay, so again, the Greendale School District. And you were saying earlier, we we're talking a little bit, everybody in this village is so, hey, welcome, welcome. <laughs> people are really proud here. Is that, would you yes. say that? It has that small town feel where people, you can uh, identify a place where someone lives and everyone knows where that fits within the community. So you definitely feel like it's part of your family. Yeah. yeah. All right. And so it's been a great morning in Greendale. Jonathan, thank you again for your for time. Sure. There's kids out here having fun. You guys can wave. Wave. Hey. Okay, now it's okay to wave. I know. We were telling them earlier, don't don't wave. <laughs> but we'll send it to you guys in the studio from Greendale and your 58 Hometowns Tour. Hi guys, we've had such a great day here in Greendale. Everyone is so welcoming. It's been so fun. And then everyone we talked to said, you have to go to Milk Can, Milk Can Diner. That's a must stop. And so Ryan, one of the owners having us, thanks for letting us stop by. Yeah, yeah, thank you for joining us. This is a great place, packed with fans. I can see you're popular. Tell us a little bit about the diner. Yeah, uh, so, you know, the diner for us, uh, we wanted to try to take a, a more fun, creative approach on a on a classic diner, you know. So here you'll see diner staples with uh, kind of, I guess, more chef-driven, fun, yeah. creative twists to things. Uh, we have a full-service bakery down in the basement where we make all the baked goods that we're showing you today uh, from scratch every day, cinnamon rolls, monkey bread. 
uh, you know, From down scratch, to our okay. biscuits. Yeah. And this food is amazing. Tell, just tell us a little bit. Walk us through what we're seeing out here. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we have the croque madame. Uh, next to that is the angry chicken. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's house uh, house breaded chicken breast, chorizo gravy, over easy eggs, uh, all served on top of uh, homemade uh, jalapeno cheddar biscuit. Uh, this is our cheese curd stuffed meatloaf. <laughs> Cheese curd stuffed yeah, meatloaf. I, mean, I why love not? that. Why it's not? Wisconsin, why not? <laughs> right? Have some fun with it. Right. You got burgers and cheese curds, and you said desserts too. We want to walk down. I had my eye on this bloody, but let's walk down to the case because, as far as everything from scratch, you said that goes for the bakery as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Everything that you see here is all made fresh. Uh, Daily Heather Montez, our pastry chef's absolutely amazing. She's been yeah. with our company for about six years. You know, anything from carrot cake, French silk pie, key lime pie, uh, banana cream pie. We do birthday pies. Uh, cinnamon rolls that are yeah. made fresh every day, wow. monkey bread, um, can be bought, you know, individually by the slice, by the whole pie, four packs of cinnamon rolls. So fun. And this just give you a little idea of their menu because it's insane. It's really good. So Milk Can Diner here in Greendale's right downtown in the main drag. Come say hi if you are in town. Everything from scratch. Everything from scratch. It's impressive. Thank, Thank you, you again for having yeah. us. Thanks we'll toss it back us. to you. First stop on this week's CBS 58's Hometowns, Nicole Cogman visiting one of America's three Greenbelt communities, Greendale. Yeah, today she's checking out Ricardo's Pizza, and she has a scoop, or should we say the slice <laughs> on this family-owned business. Nicole. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and it's been here for quite some time. One of the owners right now joining us, Brenda from Ricardo's. Thank you again for letting us stop. Absolutely. Hi, Nicole. I'm so glad to be here. This is a Greendale staple. Tell me a little bit. Your family's owned this place for a long time. It is a Greendale staple. We have been down here in the village since January of 1970. So I grew up in the uh, restaurant business. I have been the owner, along with my brother, um, since October of uh, 2020. So, yeah, it's just been going along and we've grown up with the village yeah tell, and tell me a little bit because it's fun to see all the new things and everybody here is so proud people mm -hmm. are stopping and honking and saying welcome to greendale is that just how this is yes it's <laughs> it that is how it is yeah. so many people grow up in greendale they'll move away they go to college yeah. they always come back to greendale yeah. yeah yeah so it's got a great community feel that's awesome and a great great pizza here right is that your specialty absolutely pizza is our specialty that's what built our business but we have uh pasta sandwiches salads and a great Great fish fry on Friday nights. Awesome. Right down here in the village. You can see it. We were just saying that they're setting up for a huge 4th of July celebration. So it'll be a great summer. Great it time will. to stop. And you guys have a patio outside too, right? We have a patio outside. So outside seating when the weather is nice. And we know in Wisconsin that's not very long. Right. So you can come down and join us. All right. Ricardo's here in the village of Greendale. It's been a great day. Thank you again, everybody. So friendly. Seriously, stopping and waving. All right, we got to say a good goodbye from Greendale, everybody. Woo! All right, we'll send it back to you. <laughs> So far, all of our 58 hometown visits have included communities that have grown and evolved over time. But back in the 1930s, President Franklin Roosevelt had a plan to create communities so Greendale was built all at once. One day it was rolling uh, farms, uh, orchards, and little dairies, and within a matter of two years, this was built, it just rose. While you're standing in the kitchen, of uh, a Greendale original, uh, about 380 Greendale originals were built. So it provided housing for about 530 families. They all moved in at the same time in May 1938. The government used very high quality wood and building materials so the houses have held up wonderfully. There'd be one of everything, so the little downtown area, they were given one grocery store, one shoemaker, one bank, one gas station. We're in Auntie Jenny's Barkery, so I'm making treats constantly. Their base is brown rice flour. It's very easy for digestion for dogs. Um, and I have about 22 different flavors because I do a flavor of the month, plus I do ice cream and cupcakes. Just hometown, real friendly environment. I just love love it here. I fell in love with it, and so when I opened a store, it had, this was the only place I'd go. We are in the Canterbury Forest between our Canterbury Elementary School and Greendale Middle School. And right now we're in the middle of Summer Adventure Club. Hello! So we have hundreds of students that take part in activities throughout summer. You'll see them right behind me right now, um, enjoying games, activities. They'll go and do open swimming, they'll go on field trips, and they do walking trips to area parks.
And you'll find pedestrian paths like this all over Greendale. That was part of the original community plan. We're told the reason they're so narrow, so when you came across a stranger on the path, you had to offer a friendly hello. For now, we'll say goodbye from Greendale.